Hello everyone, I'm King Evolved and welcome to Ark Survive Evolved and today we're going to be going over the Valguero map. Now I'm recording this after it, so it's kind of weird. So bear with me, but this is the first place where I start and I'll explain more on that. But yeah, I put a lot of time in this, into this video and finding these base locations because I wanted to actually them to actually be good instead of like making a like a 30 minute video on eight locations. Now I I literally just flew around the last like two days on this map and I found locations that are good for myself and what I would recommend. Now if you could drop a like on this, but I'll let you watch it first to see if you actually approve. If anything, I would love if you subscribe because we're on the road to 1100 now or well 1500, 2000, you know what the drill is. But yeah, on to the video. For the first one that we're going to have here is at 4813. It's a good flat area that can be built for a mega base here, as seen show. And it is really good because of the metal spot over here. And again, 4811 for the spot. And so now if we head over here, we will be at the next one. It's a little small cliff area that you can build on if you want, which is 457. Now, this is probably one of the best locations on the map, but it's the hardest to defend. So, I'll show you right outside of here. This is the waterfall base. Very close to here, and the coordinates for it are 3410. So, there's multiple entrances into here, so you fly into here. You're greeted by some crystal. And then down here, the mother load of crystal. And then metal scattered everywhere. And it's an amazing base location, but it's extremely hard to defend from what it looks because this isn't another entrance i don't think no but there's so much room in here but you do take that extra six damage and down here is the entire area to the underground water area which is very accessible so it could cause you a problem and i'm for some reason yeah but Again, the coordinates are shown here. Let me get, yeah. 32, 9. And it's an amazing base location. It's just like, it has a lot too many flaws to make it, like, invincible. The <laughs> next one is 325. It's in this winter biome, so. It's shown here. This big area can be accessible very easily. But it is also, you know, very versatile and you're able to... You got a lot to work with from it seems, with actually only having one entrance. And just right there. Actually, it isn't even a real entrance. How do you get up here? Oh, you can't even get up here by foot, it seems. There might be one entrance, but yeah. But 522 is also very close to it in the same place. The next location we have is approaching a 5 and 9. Now, I don't know if this takes extra damage since it's like in this area, but it shouldn't. So, from what it has here is, there is a, uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably oil or sulfur. It looks like oil, so, yeah, and then there's, there's some metal spots around here. But it's not the most reliable metal spots. And there is crystal too, but it is a great base location with only having to block off those two ends. And you can build a mega base right there. The next location we have here is 2650 and shown with one oil deposit. Just a nice little one. And the northern lights are very nice, but it's kind of weird that we're not in the north. But as you can see here, it's a nice just flat area that you can build on with only one entrance in the more green biome, but still close to the snow. For accessibility on that one is 3451 and it is a cave right placed here it's actually a really good spot and i don't know if if flyers work in here but for some reason it's letting me i don't know if i have cave flyers on in the single player world and you can kind of hear that noise i'm guessing it's just the heart and the flow of lava but this is a really cool place and the artifact is shown right here.
Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, you can build in here from what I can see, as shown with the teleporter. Oh, you get a, this torch skin and then the crag. Organism in the depths of scorched earth. This is not scorched earth. But, oh, there's a drop right here too. But this can be a really cool place to turn into a base or build outside of it. So you have accessibility to all this. I'll just grab these to see what the potential is. Ah. Ooh. Slim catch. That's actually not a bad bow or carnal saddle. I got a straight just ascending carnal saddle. And right up here. So just bring a grappling hook with you and you're golden. Because there seems to be a lot of drops in here. And they're not half bad. So, and then there is a second little area over here, which isn't much, but it's still kind of cool. Oh, wait. I didn't notice this part. Hold on. I thought that went to the world. Wow, there's an entire, like, even more case system than I thought. I'm not sure where that leads. I'll leave that for you guys to find out. But this is a really cool spot and... Okay, oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll keep going. Quick sidetrack. Okay, so it just leads down to here. Nothing uh, too big on that end. But still really cool. This would be pretty cool to turn into a base location. I think it would be hard because you know the extra damage that you have to take, but it would still be really awesome. Because you can't bring in any gigas, you have to like... You know, you can cryopod some stuff and bring it in, but it's like the majority of stuff you can't. And then there's just some nice pink crystals in here, so you could probably make this the main part of the base. Deep within the core of this. Or maybe that might be better, but... Yeah, next base location. Already, the next base location is at 2793, and it is a kind of plateau, not plateau exactly, but it's like a plot of land right here, and it's very high up, so you can scour over your enemies, and you can build off a little bit down there, and there's a long walkway up here, so that would be, you know, defensive up there, and you should be good there. This next one is at... 8197 and it is placed right here now it isn't the best base location but it's still really good for metal and a good starter place if you want to call it that because there is a lot of metal here and there's a actual barrier right here i didn't notice on my server that i'm currently hosting if you want to come join please go down in the description below it is pvp mods not too many mods but you know really fun quite a, a good amount of people on it now and yeah so basically shown here is I built like a run right here and it's really good for metal really really good and there's good dinosaur amount right here and yeah the next one we have here is 94 92 and if you fly up we have a huge metal spot just I'll fly a little bit closer so everything loads in it is insanely good so building you know a little bit away from it and keeping the metal spot might be good just for like, you know, a temporary base or just a metal spot to get. And there is obsidian here too, which is amazing. I need to go here on my server. Join in the description below. Shameless plug. And we'll be in the next one. Now the next one is around 9188. It is just next to that, so you could probably build a base here. But the problem is with this base is that it is hard to build in the ruins. Certain places you can't build in. Uh, from They might have fixed it a little bit, but... In a lot of places, you can't place anything. If you go over to here, let's say fix it. Okay, yeah, okay. Look, you can't build in a lot of these spots, as shown here. You might get some snaps, but there really isn't. That's the only problem, and that's what kept me from, you know, putting a lot of the ruins locations. Because it's not like the center, and you can just build in the ruins wherever. You have to, like... I don't know, but it's still a really cool spot, and yeah, it'd be great for PvE though, to say the least. This next one is at 9202, 
And as shown here, it is a giant just flat area that you can build on very easily and defend. And there is a little bit of crystal here, you know, to get when you're first starting off. And then you have this little flat area here, but I don't know how useful that would be in PvP. But PvE-wise, that'll be great. And it, But you do have this bunch of area here, and is very, you know, you can use it to your liking. The best base location is 66-2. And if we fly out to here, you can see it is a giant just flat area with that being the only entrance up. And if you just put a bunch of blockers there, then you're good. It can be accessed by flyers, of course, but ground dinos can only attack in through there or a cryopod. Sixty-five oh four is also. And then we also have this little place right here, which is kind of cool. Out, this isn't in the barrier, right? Okay, it isn't. So right up here is only accessible by flyers. And it's pretty cool because it's just like right on the cliff. So 63. The next one is at 29 to 65, which is in the underground area. I'll have a video coming out on how to access the underground area if you don't know. But just make sure to check out my channel and subscribe and stuff. So it's I'm going to put it as these three islands basically in the sky. So now if you are on an official server... uh. Basically, the only way to get up here is climbing picks and grappling hooks. Because flyers don't, you know, work under here. You can't use flyers unless you've... If you have uh, cave flyers enabled, then you are able to fly in down here. So, yeah. Those three islands are a good choice. The next one is 4262, which is just a little cliff right here, which is actually really nice. And you're very well protected because... No one can really get up there, and it's kind of roomy, and it's like, it's not going to be your alpha base, but it's going to be a good spot to just, like, build that so no one else can touch you. If you're just trying to be antisocial on a PvP server. Now, I'm just throwing this in just because of how cool it looks, but in some of the places you cannot build on here, uh, some, there is, yeah, like, I don't know, that might have just been a glitch spot, but in a lot of these places you can't build, as shown right there. And... Along this, I don't think you can build on. But yeah, it's still a really cool base location. And you can use it to some point in making it really cool. Definitely PvE base, but on PvP wise of things, I don't know. I I just have to see how well somebody uses it to their liking. But it's still really cool. Oh, and... Yeah, if you didn't get it, 60.09. Alrighty, and now that was all the base locations for now. And I hope you really did enjoy this video. I put a lot of effort into finding these locations because I just wanted to play the map first and get to know it. And, you know, show some actually good spots. Unlike, you know, just throwing in like five, five places and calling it a video where half of them you can't even build in because of the ruins. But yeah. I just want to thank you all for watching. Please drop a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I, I thought I was going to wave, but oh well.